people wish what we are wishing for today, but what is the end of those who got what they wished? You're welcome to another episode. We're still go, going to gossip. Ish, it, the issue being volume two, number five. Volume two, number five. Moto, the rumor killers. May 2002, price 1,500 CDs. This is it. <clears throat> we go to the inner stories. Page two. Why some schoolgirls get pregnant? We, we did it. It was continued from the previous paper, and we did it. Then, VAT. VAT review. Blessings or more woes on Ghana. Value added tax. It was new in Ghana here. Uh, what trade center? What, sorry, World Trade Center to be reconstructed. Hmm? <clears throat> That's page two. We now go to page three. Why Dr. Bickley uses padlocks on most of his juju? <laughs> Why Dr. Beckley uses padlocks on most of his juju? This is it, page three. We talked about Dr. Beckley before in our <clears throat> first issue of uh, BMP. We go to page four. Why Dr. Beckley? Oh, it's still the same story continued. Then, still on page four, encounter with a cheating native doctor. Yes, the first one was uh, orthodox doctor, some orthodox doctor, but now it's encounter with a cheating native doctor. And another story, I was raped by a madman. I was raped by a madman. This is it. Cheating doctor is on top there. And then I was raped by a madman is at the corner here. <clears throat> From there, we go to page five. Marriage bliss. I think we've done that. I think we've done that. Okay, we will we'll see. Then next story is sex after 35 years why it is different why it can be better sex after 35 years why it is different why it can be better then we have still continued i was raped by a madman then i think the other stories are not very important get out of that in two weeks so this is page five for viewers <clears throat> Now, we go to page six, which is the last page. I suppose. Oh. The last page, where for sale, which we have done before, then pasta and, oh, what am I, what am I doing? Yes, that's it. Then we go to the last page, page six. Why for sale, which we've done before. Pastor anointed my underpart. We've done that before. Then eight secrets about sex. Um, <clears throat> no, that was not the last page. That was page six. Now we go to page seven. The unwilling prostitute which also we carried from the last paper. Then cat saves girl from rapist. Cat saves girl from rapist. Then low sperm count causes sexual impotence in men. It's no news. It's no news. Eight secrets about sex continue from page six. So this is page seven. <clears throat> from there we go to page eight, which is the cover page. And uh, <clears throat> 70 Ashawas die at circle. 
A shower is a Ghanaian term meaning call girls or the bare name being prostitutes, if you like. Then MPP in crisis up north, General Hamidou too, too resigns. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, village where only women die. Hey, village where only women die. So that is page eight. <clears throat> Now let's let's go back and let's go and do the reading. Let's go back and do the reading. Uh, <clears throat> why school girls get pregnant? We've done that. Then VAT review blessings or more woes or more woes and as uh -huh. <clears throat> As Parliament resumes sitting after their Easter recess, one of the bills highly on the agenda of the House will be the review of VAT bill. The mention of VAT, value added tax, you mean, I mean, value, VAT means valued added tax. The meaning, the mention of VAT sends a chill down the spine of most Ghanaians. This is because since its inception, its rate has been soaring up and never coming down. It started from 10%. And rose to 12.5 percent, with the promise that additional 2.5 would be used to cushion educational expenses. Paragraph. However, the rate at which parents are sweating under the burden of school fees, school books, and other allied educational expenses point to the fact that the impact of 2.5 percent of VAT for education is not felt in the pockets of un. It's not felt in the pockets of ordinary Ghanaian workers. I don't know what that sentence means. Anyway, it is in this light, um, I mean, or it's now felt. No, maybe it's now felt. Let me take it again. However, the rate at which parents are sweating under the burden of school fees, school books, and other allied educational expenses point to the fact that the impact of 2.5% of VAT for education is now felt in the pockets of ordinary Ghanaians. The word on, in the paper is not, but it doesn't make sense to me, so I fixed noun there. Mm. It's now felt in the pockets of ordinary Ghanaian workers. Paragraph. <clears throat> it is in this light that most Ghanaians are wondering whether the review of the VAT bill in, of the VAT bill in Parliament would not rather uh, increase our burden instead of relieving our already empty pockets. <clears throat> it is a fact that any extra monies in the form any extra monies in the form direct or indirect taxes imposed on Ghanaians would not do well for the MPP government. Such an act will rather further worse such an act will rather further worsen uh, the already smartened down what goodwill Ghanaians have for the MPP government. <clears throat> uh, paragraph. Economic measures in the macro realm put ahead by the MPP government is laudable, but the microeconomic hardships are still with us. Uh, not even the ESRP facilities that a few people have enjoyed for the have enjoyed of late has changed the plight of a majority of Ghana economically. Well, I don't know what ESP ESRP mean in capitals. I don't know. Maybe some people, some of the viewers will know what it is. It is therefore necessary for it to be drummed home to our MPs to realize that one does not eat the chicken that lay the golden eggs. Ghanaian workers are the hewers of wood and drawers of water to make the nation move forward. If they are overburdened with taxes, their level of performance will definitely decrease. This is because it takes a heavy and well-fed stomach to blow the trumpet to, to the enjoyment of all and sundry. 
who is the writer? Kwesi Antwi Ewa Legon Accra. We go to the next story. <clears throat> World, Trade, World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. You remember, is it 1911 or uh, 2011? I don't remember. We know September 11. September 11. Huh? So uh, we go to the story. World Trade Center to be reconstructed. Mm -hmm. Reconstruction of the World Trade Center, which was raised down following the September 11. 2001 suicide bombing by a group of Arab terrorists will cost a huge amount of money to rebuild. But the American government is bent on reconstructing the tallest building in the whole world. Reports, uh, reports reaching the gossip from U.S. indicate that the architectural design of the soon-to-be-reconstructed World Trade Center has been submitted to the American government for debate and approval mm -hmm. at Congress. Uh, the World Trade Center structure, which, is re which was raised down in September 11, 2001, had, under had underground structures like a tube station, restaurants, and cafes, and the same design is to be used. Our source says the bill on reconstruction of the World Trade Center is popular one. It's a popular one. That will be, and that will be unanimously approved by Congress. Meanwhile, firemen who died whilst whilst frantically saving lives of trapped victims of the suicide bombing were remembered at the cemetery. Sorry, were remembered at a ceremony a fortnight ago. <clears throat> President Bush. Families of disease, as well as Congress, as well as congressmen, the entire U.S. Fire Service personnel, diplomats, and the general public at, attended the impressive ceremony, which which highly charged as which highly which highly charged with emotion. Well, I'm reading what I see. Mm -hmm. attended the impressive ceremony, which highly charged with emotion, or maybe, maybe which was highly charged with emotion. Mm -hmm. We go to the next paragraph. In his speech, President Bush reportedly told Americans to keep on fighting against terrorism so that the world would be free of such charlatans who are, who are out there to intimidate well-meaning business and civil communities. Paragraph. According to our source, the WTC, World Trade Center, the WTC reconstructed bill will take almost one month to be debated on, after which initial funding and allied uh, resources would be budgeted. Would be budgeted. Mm -hmm. The World Trade Center in flames after the September 11th suicide. <clears throat> The World Trade Center in flames after the September 11, 2001 attack or oh, suicide bombing. Okay, we've dealt with that. Uh, we now come to a small topic titled Men and Breasts. Men and Breasts in capital breasts, S N N S. Once a prince who admired the breasts of his wife told friends, the beauty of the bosom of a beautiful woman possesses such a fascinating effect on man because he derives from the source the first pleasurable sensations of his fancy. One of the friends also contributed to the debate Children who are brought up by beautiful women with beautiful breasts are indebted for their sensations because their fathers will not allow them to suck beautiful breasts of their mothers too much and thereby make the breasts flabby. Then, under it, we have married life. 
a woman once complained to her husband that he was always ridden and took little notice of her. I wish I were a book, and then I would enjoy more of your company. <laughs> okay. The husband replied, yes, my dear, I wish you were a calendar so that I could change you every year. <laughs> oh, my God. This is wisdom. Hmm? Uh, okay, what follows is burial and funeral rites uh, for the late Emmanuel Safu Elias Wafayao, age 44. There will be no wake keeping. So that the, I would not submit to Okay, this is the burial ceremony of a burial announcement of Saman. So let's leave it. And, uh, I think it will suffice to leave it here. We should leave it here. We've, we've done with uh, page two. It was short because we did it already earlier. Most of it was concerning school girls, why some school girls get pregnant. And our next issue, we shall go to page three. Thank you very much. May God bless.